All right, welcome to part two. So, picking off where we left off. We just finished smoothing out these polygons here. And what we need to do is uh, start rotating this piece here. So I'm gonna drop into Edible Poly, Alt-W out of that, and we're gonna affect this pivot. And it's all the way down here, so I'm gonna try and align it to here. Let's do uh, maximum. It almost works, but it's all the way out here. We need it to be right here, flush with that. So I'm just going to right click, select, and move. And on the Y axis, I'm going to do right click on the spinner to zero that out. And click OK. Now I'm going to rotate this, shift, drag again like we've been doing, 90 degrees. And click OK for copy. I'm going to mirror that on the z-axis, that's okay. Drop down here to attach, attach that up. Drop down to the polygon, take these two, delete them. Go to the edges, do these two right here. Let me guess, we're going to bridge them, yep, we'll bridge them. And these two right here, bridge them up and these two bridge them up just like that and we're done uh, no we're not because we just rotated this object here I'm gonna say that there's two verts selected and there are so we're just gonna control A select all of our verts and we're gonna drop down and we're gonna weld those up so where's the uh, the hoo the uh, hoo ya well there it is 0.1 is fine, we're losing two verts and that's fine, that's what we need, so we'll click OK. Alright. I'm going to select all these, click this color thing right here. I'm just going to do black for now, and it looks all crazy. But I'm going to do material editor and just assign a default gray material. That way when I unclick it, we've got a gray material with black outlines. And if even if you want, you can even drop this uh, diffuse color down to like a lighter gray so you can see it even better so you can get a better idea of what's going on here alright so what's next what we're gonna do is create a box simple box grid snaps enabled we're gonna go right here on this edge or this corner drag a box right down to here and we're gonna drag it out Alt W so you can see what we're working with Alt W that perspective and it's 200 by 200 which we know uh, it needs to be and then um, height needs to be negative 200 so I'm just gonna type that in just like that alright if you don't want to see this grid right here just press G on your keyboard as G is in golf alright so Let's take this piece right here, and we'll go to Hierarchy tab, Effect Pivot Only, we'll do Align to this box, and we'll do Center, Pivot Point to the center of that box, and click OK. Uncheck Effect Pivot Only, now we can take this piece and rotate it, holding Shift, we'll rotate it 90 degrees, and we'll do that three times as a copy, and that'll give us the top piece. We'll control click all these and we'll mirror them with a copy on the z-axis and we'll move them down just like that and we'll take this piece we'll rotate it up oh, no we won't do that we'll affect the pivot we'll align it to the box pivot to center on the XYZ Okay, uncheck effect pivot and we'll rotate that holding shift 90 degrees and three copies just like that and then select all of these, we'll mirror them on the Z axis with the copy and we'll move them down right there we're still missing a couple holes right here, so. Hmm. Let 
Let's move this one down 90 degrees. One copy. Rotate it 90 degrees this away. Three copies. Just like such. Alright. So now, I'm going to select everything, and then Alt select my box to deselect it. Right click, hide, selection. So now I just found my box. Convert. Convert to Edward Poly. Take these edges here. If you don't have ignore back facing, you can always do a ring, and you'll go all the way around. Drop down to connect. We'll do two and a pinch of negative 80. Looks good. Next, we'll do these ring. Oops. Ring, just make sure we go all the way around. Connect, 280, OK. Then we'll do these ones here. Ooh. Ring, to make sure we go all the way around. And we can just visually inspect that we go all the way around, of course. And we do connect, 280, OK. Now, drop down to my polygon. I'm going to check ignore back facing, and I'm just going to control click all these polygons on the outside edge. I'm just holding control and clicking all these. And now control I will invert your selection, so whatever is the inverse. So then we get this inside border. So um, we're going to bevel these by the local normal and we're doing negative value of and this is completely up to you whatever looks good to you I'm gonna say negative five and then I want negative two it looks good to me and you can always check your reference like how much is it beveled we could have even gone more than a negative eight, more than an 80 on the connect two on this but whatever that's fine for me what I'm going to do is though change the color to black. M apply. Now unhide all. Starting to come together. So Alt W. Drop down here into standard primitives. We'll do cylinder. Snap still enabled. We'll drop right here on the origin. Let's drag out a cylinder something like that and we'll move it out actually we won't move it out we'll just make the height positive 40 with no height segments actually we'll move it in something like that convert that to an editable poly it's edge and we need to select like this outer edge right here so what we can do is control or we can just click all these and then alt select these middle ones or we can go to polygon mode select this polygon and control click edge mode and that'll control click all the edges so, uh, associated with that polygon and then we can drop down to uh, chamfer and then we'll give it a big amount like five yeah let's go crazy let's go five segments one two three Okay. Drop on polygon mode, control A. Drop down to smoothing groups, clear all, auto smooth. And that's going to get rid of any uh, faceting look on those cylinders. So that's going to do it for part two. Stick around for part three. We're going to finish off this model real quick. It's going to be a short, quick, sweet, and you'll have your companion cube. So stick around. See you in part three.